so let us view all the sorting algorithms so in case of bubble sort if you take best case worst case and average case in all these three cases it is going to take order of n square time so generally whenever we are writing best case then we give it omega notation in case of worst case we write order notation in case of average case we try to see if we can give theta notation or we have to give order notation fine so here in case of bubble set i have not for simplicity i have not differentiated within omega and this order so just assume we are having order here in every cases so in case of bubble sort in best case it is a take order of n square order of n square order of n square we have already seen this in best case order of one order of one order of one right so in case of improved bubble sort in best case it is order of n otherwise it is order of n square order of n square and we have order of one in all these cases fine now in case of selection sort it is going to take order of n square in every case in case of insertion sort it is going to take order of n in best case in worst case order of n square in average case order of n square so whenever best case and worst case both are same then we can give a theta notation here therefore it is theta of n square in selection sort right so in merge sort you can see here it is interesting you can see in all these cases these are taking more space as compared to the previous cases fine all these sorting algorithms are comparison based sorting algorithms that means we are going to compare two items so we have sorting algorithms which are comparison based some sorting algorithms are not comparison based okay for example radix sort bucket sort they are not comparison based sorting algorithm but these sorting algorithms are comparison based fine so in case of comparison based sorting sorting algorithm you can see if space increases then time complexity decreases but if space decreases then time complexity will increase that means it, there is a space time trade off in this case space time trade off space time trade off means if space increase time complexity will decrease if space decrease time comp complexity will increase right so in these three sorting algorithm you can see the space is order of one only so in average case and worst case in all these algorithms is order of n square fine now in case of improved bubble sort you can see average case and worst case is order of n square fine now in case of merge sort for merging merge sort takes order of n time but because of that in all these three cases it is going to take order of n log n time fine now in case of quick sort when we say the worst case in worst case quick sort take order of n time because see why quick sort is taking space complexity more because but whenever we are going to do the recursive calls the number of recursive calls will be stored in the form of stack then whatever the maximum height of stack or the maximum height which you can get in in stack that will take some space so if you have n data items then if the data is already sorted then in at max stack will take this much amount of time we already know that recursion will take stack recursion cannot be done without uh, without stack or without using the stack fine so here quick sort will take order of n log n time order of n square time order of n log n then we have we have done the randomized quick sort which is going to choose the pivot element randomly but here you can see in case of space complexity all these three cases is taking order of log n time and all these three cases are also going to take n log n time right so whenever you see space time trade off then the in case of space time trade off you can see quick sort is best as compared to the other sorting algorithm it is using some moderate amount of space or which is basically log n and then constant uh, time complexity fine so that is why we say if you as uh, if someone is asking you a question that in case of uh, all these comparison based sorting algorithm which sorting algorithm is the best then you can say randomized quick sort is the best or you can say quick sort is the best fine so you will get options uh, for for the answer fine so this is the case of sorting algorithms fine so now i have covered lot of things here so this these are sir just demo lectures all these lectures which are available on youtube they are demo lectures so if you want to take the complete package just email us on the link which are provided in this section or in the comment section here fine then uh, all these videos will be covering everything from start to finish and whatever will be covering or whatever i will be covering in data structures and algorithms that will be enough for your gate examination or any competitive examination for example ugc net or gate so i've done i will be covering everything in very detail if you face any issue any doubt with these demo lectures then you can just email me at any point of time 
right to get the complete video, like, video series you can just uh, email us or you can go visit the website gatelectures.com so there you can see how to get access to all these videos fine so that's it that's it for all thank you